Hi everyone. If you've been following our videos, you may have guessed that one of our goals is to visit all of the state parks in Florida with our RV. This week we are at Graydon Beach State Park in the Panhandle of Florida. We visited with family members who live nearby in the Destin area. We hope you enjoy the video of this beautiful area of Florida. Well, we're camping and this is our first morning at Grayton Beach State Park. And it's raining. 6, 6.30 in the morning. It's supposed to rain all day today, all day tomorrow. Thursday when we're going home, it's supposed to be nice. Well, the rain let up. What time is it? 8.57. It's about 9 o'clock here, central time. So that's fine. Looks like the beach is over there. There's a pathway from the campground. You can see big puddles. But it looks real pretty. There's the campground. Back there. Okay. Sky looks clear this way, not so clear that way. The Grayton Beach is really pretty. Um, this morning it rained, but now we've got a beautiful sky this way. Yeah. You can hear the frogs over there. We're right on the dividing line. Yes. Could be raining any moment. But we're going to walk down to the beach entrance. Well, here's the beach parking lot. Looks like we're the only ones here. Pretty quiet today. Where you go? Bathrooms, some factoids. Okay, Rhonda, you got the beautiful sand dunes along the beach in the background. What do you know about sand dunes? Uh, beach sunflowers grow really well in the sand dunes. <laughs> well, oftentimes you'll see little bunnies and there's wildlife that lives out there. So that's the reason they really don't want you out there. And it protects the um, beach uh, yes. from erosion, that kind of thing. That's about all I know. All right, that is kind of weird. I don't know if you can see that sort of glow, but I'm thinking that's rain coming at us. But otherwise, in this direction, ooh. Steep. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, I'm trying to decide where the clouds are going. That sun is covered up in the air, so it's not coming this way. All right, this is the uh, lake area. I guess if you're going to bring your RV and just stay for the day, you can park in this lot. You can't park in the other lot, but it's just a short walk. And we're noticing, I see an airstream over there. I'm wondering if those are actually kind of lake frontage lot campsites. We've been in Florida forever and never knew 30A was a thing. I had heard about Seaside but never thought to visit the area until we heard about it from YouTubers Long Long Honeymoon. Oh now she's going to parallel park. park. <laughs> yeah, parking park in the way I do it. Opposite. <laughs> well we just ate at Cowgirls right up there, the CK. And it was really good. You know, $50 lunch. Well, actually a little more. <laughs> With tip. Alright, we're leaving Cowgirl restaurant bar. Mm -hmm. Delicious. You're back on 30. Oh no. Oh, here's the 
there's right those, those around his people. favorite town. Are they kind of like Egypt? They kind of made him like. Um, <clears throat> kind of weird. Surfing deer. In Seaside, we're right next to it. I like New Jersey. You never know which town you're really in. It all runs together. So the beach is right through there. There's a lot of walk-through beach access, but they're all private. Mm -hmm. So I guess unless you live in the town. Go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay, watercolor. Heading into the park. So, how far was it? 1.7 miles. Oh man, so it'll be just a little over two miles okay. to Seaside. We just need a time when it's not raining. It was fun seeing my niece Kira and her mom Linda. Kira and her fiancé are seriously thinking about getting a van or a short bus and traveling full-time for a few years. I think it's a great idea for them. She'd be great on YouTube, and her fiancé is a photographer. P.S. If you're in the Destin area and want to go fishing, call 850-797-7678. Well, we're here on a different day, and the sun's out. It's really nice. Hi everybody, um, we're at Grayton Beach State Park. Um, this is um, day three of our um, glamping trip. The, the sea is beautiful out there. And we're so excited the sun is shining today. So we're sitting at the beach, we're gonna take a walk and then we're going to ride our bikes. Bike riding to seaside to uh, get some food. But So I understand how um, why this is called the Emerald Coast. There's some really pretty colors out there on the water today. They've got green and blues, and it's, it's just beautiful. A lot of grass in it this morning, though, which is uh, not so good. So right here, that sign is the edge of the state park. And I mean, you can see the tall buildings on the other side of it. So that's the state park beach. And this is, I'm not sure what town this really is. And I'm not sure. I, I would definitely recommend four-wheel drive to drive on that beach. <laughs> We're taking our bikes to Seaside to go have some lunch. Really nice bike path. Hi, Rhonda. Hi. Nice bike path. This is 30A. We just crossed over. There's a bike path on the other side. It crosses over this side and go over this little bridge. And... I think we clocked it yesterday, the road, the, it was about a two mile ride, so no big deal. These little beach towns are nice. New urbanism is cool in that it is meant to model real city neighborhoods. Unfortunately, that's just impossible to do in a beach town like those along 30A. All of the homes are very expensive. Many are either second or third homes or vacation rentals. You don't get city diversity with an average price of a home at over $2 million. But for those lucky few, having dense housing with small retail and recreation and beaches within walking distance is a very nice lifestyle. But there are two great state parks nearby for the rest of us. Well, we're leaving Grayton Beach State Park, and I think Rhonda and I both would give it a... We'd come back here. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Once we got past the rain, yesterday was nice all day. Yes, we have another trip planned for next Monday at one of my favorite parks. Is this going to be the first one we would go to the second time? Yes. Little Talbot State Park we went to once when we first got the RV. And we have three nights there, Monday, starting on Monday, and 
stupid hurricanes coming and we're sure the park's going to close because that's about when it's supposed to hit Florida. And of course they'll close it and refund but they won't give us a new reservation. For There's a Florida road gang, and I don't know if your state does that, but they, the low-risk prisoners come out and do various work. It's a long Florida tradition. Back in the day, they used to build roads through the swamp, chained together. Not a good tradition. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.